everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to take a look at the players in week three that we have to build our DFS lineups around. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, week two was obviously crazy due to uh, a series of injuries, but we still have plenty of high-end stars we want to pay up for. There's always stars to pay up for. And of course, if you're facing the Detroit Lions secondary, it's probably a good place to start. So that's where we'll begin here with Kyler Murray, who's $8,400 for the Cardinals. That connection with DeAndre Hopkins has been incredible. We'll probably talk about stacks later in the week, but Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins certainly seems like a good place to start. Absolutely. Starting off, we have a 54 and a half over under. This is the second highest on the slate. We have the Cardinals with an applied team total sitting at 30, which is also the, th the second highest on the slate. So we're off to a good start. If we look back over the first two weeks, we see that the Lions giving up three touchdowns to Mitch Trubisky in game one or in week one. In week two, they gave up uh, 250 some odd yards to Aaron Rodgers, another two touchdowns. We know they're not good. We want to be attacking them every single time down. And what's great about Murray is that he's passing in just such high volume, 40 and 38 passing attempts in the first two weeks. He's also getting it done on the ground, rushing for plenty of yards and a, and a couple touchdowns in the first two weeks, which are so valuable for quarterbacks. We actually have him projected for 24.9 fatal points, which is the highest among quarterbacks on the slate. We have no Lamar, no Patrick Mahomes on the slate. So we have Murray above Prescott and Russell Wilson. So start your lineups off with him. It's a good place to start. Mitchell Trubisky can dominate the Detroit Lions. Well, Aaron Rodgers always does. But if Mitchell Trubisky can do it, I feel like anybody can. And Kyler Murray is awesome. So it's a really, really good price this week. And it makes sense. Get Murray into your lineups to start off. Moving on to running back, Ezekiel Elliott had a very quiet first half last week, and then much like the Cowboys offense, exploded in the second half. And Zeke, obviously, one of the best running backs in the NFL, and that floor is just so high, and the ceiling is obviously high, making Zeke on every week a good play. But why specifically this week do you want to build your lineups around him? So like you said, the floor is so consistent, and we're seeing 22 rushing attempts in each of the first two games, a total of 11 targets uh, over the first two weeks, which is awesome. Now, you know, that's the floor. That's what we're getting from him, 25 or more total touches week in and week out. But I want to say that his ceiling was actually, you know, capped last week because we saw Dak Prescott rushing, what was it, two, three rushing touchdowns, stealing them away for Zeke, and he still had 19.6 fandom points. So if that's what we're going to be getting on a week-to-week -week basis, 19, 20 Fanduel points, he could have had two more touchdowns, pushing him you know, close to 30 Fanduel points. That's what we want to be seeing. Going up against Seattle, we have a 55 over-under. It's the highest on the slate. We're expecting plenty of offense here. And although Seattle looks good, their defense is really not looking good. You know, giving up 20-some-odd you know, points in week one to the Falcons. They give up a whole ton of points to the Patriots on Sunday night. So if we're in for a shootout, I am taking Zeke. I'm taking a player with 25, 30 touch potential and a player who can score multiple touchdowns. You're right. The upside wasn't even as high as it could have been last week with Dak Prescott stealing all those carries at the goal line. We know Ezekiel Elliott's floor, as we mentioned, is just super, super high. The fact that it can be even better, well, it's a good reason to build around Zeke here in week three. Speaking of upside, the upside may have been capped for Keenan Allen with Tyrod Taylor as his quarterback. Now, when Taylor's healthy, according to Anthony Lynn, he's the starting quarterback of the Chargers. But when is he going to be 100% healthy? I don't know. With Justin Herbert in there, the offense woke up, specifically in the middle of the field with Hunter Henry and Keenan Allen. Allen this week is priced at $7,100 for the Chargers, and if Justin Herbert's in there, as we expect he will be, well, that's a really good price for Keenan. This is the consistent option in the Chargers offense that I want. Uh, like you said, there it should be Herbert in uh, Tyrod Taylor dealing with this injury that he suffered in pregame. But consistent option for the Chargers, hopefully pushing uh, towards eight plus targets every single week. Mike Williams and Hunter Henry are certainly there, but we want the consistency from Keenan Allen. Going up against Carolina, this is an ideal spot. We saw them get torched in week one against the Raiders. Uh, you know, Henry Ruggs getting deep. We saw Nelson Aguilar catch a touchdown. This past week, we saw Mike Evans have a huge game against the Carolina secondary. So we're going back to Keenan Allen. We're going to him, I want to say, very comfortably. And overall, his price tag is amazing. The price tag is incredible. And as long as Justin Herbert's in there, I feel good about it as well. Herbert to Allen is a connection that's going to work this season, specifically work this weekend, making Keenan Allen a wide receiver that you have to lock into your lineups. 
That's going to do it for us here in the FanDuel Hurry Up Time. We appreciate the time. We'll talk to you Thursday as we find the values to match up with some of these stars. And we have plenty of value this week after all the injuries. We'll talk to you then. Absolutely. With all those injuries, the value is going to be there, but it's also going to affect the betting lines. Tomorrow, Megan Nunez will join me as we take a look at some of those betting lines and go with her favorite bets here for week three. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching the FanDuel Hurry Up. We'll see you back here tomorrow.